Has this ever happened to you? You got up to read your word. That's when you get tired. That's when you start falling asleep. But then you get distracted by a phone call. Who is that calling you? Why are you reading your word? And then you have the nerve to close your Bible to have a conversation. We're going to fix that today. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back and for those who are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Deborah. Hopefully you will subscribe to this channel by the end of this video. If you want to get to know me, go watch my previous videos and yeah, subscribe. But um, by the time you guys already know what I'm going to be speaking to you guys about. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Um, one thing about me is I have struggled with reading the Bible. I wanted to read, but it was just like, first of all, there's 66 books in the Bible. Where do I start? What am I doing? How, like, what am I doing? I had a million and one questions. I didn't know where to start in the Bible. I was so confused. And honestly, the first thing that helped me to really get into reading my Bible, not only reading, but meditating, um, the word is I really got into studying mode. I found that was helpful was I set up a studying kind of little space for myself where I brought highlighters, I have my notepad, I have my you know different color pens. Um, I brought myself a journal so that I can take notes and write because one thing that one mistake that I realized that I was doing was I would just sit on my bed and open up my Bible and it's like okay I'm reading but I'm not into it. I'm falling asleep. I'm just, nothing is really sinking in. And so what really helped me was just seeing the picture that, okay, you know what? I'm ready. I got my, I got my notepad. I got my pens. I got my highlighters. I got my journal for me to take notes in. I'm ready to go. So first thing you want to do is you want to buy your supplies. You want to buy a journal and invest in yourself. First, I started off with like a little cheap cheap one I bought this from like the 99 cent store and I upgraded a little bit and I got me you know another one from probably like you know the 99 cent store again but one that has like a little flap or whatever that closes and stuff like that and it's finished and I said you know what I invest in my in my, my spiritual life and buy something that's that's nice so what I ended up getting was a leather journal that has like verses on the bottom like this is an actual Bible journal where it has like verses that's on the bottom of it, bookmark, and it makes me want to write in it. I don't know about you, but I'm the kind of girl that I like little cute stuff because it's like, oh, I want to use this. So get you a journal and invest in your spiritual life. Next is, um, well, this was the first thing that I did was I got myself a study Bible. Well, actually, my mother, thank God for my mom. I have this Bible since December 19, 2013, as written in this book. And so it kind of looked a little, you know, ripped up a little bit, you know, because I read my Bible. <laughs> but I did um, invest in a study Bible that has helped a lot where it has like on the side frequent questions that people might ask. Helps me while I'm reading. So now you're probably wondering, okay, Deb, I have all these stuff, but where do I start? Where do I go? Like, how do I know where to start? So what I started to do was watch sermons what's my favorite you know online pastor is pastor michael todd boop, boop. really love his energy and i just love his whole aura he reminds me of a male version of myself like he's just goofy and just chill and i love it that's what i started to do i started to watch sermons and that helped me where it's just like okay there's a teacher in front of me who's teaching me the word and what i loved about his sermons were it was like a note-taking style where he has like the title of the sermon and then he has like bullet points that you can write down and that helped me a lot next thing is you don't want to also de just depend on watching sermons what i started to do was literally i just started on a book opened up my bible i said lord speak to me and God led me on a, in a book and I just read that book and I started just moving forward. And what I started to do was when I would write down the, the book that I'm going to read, like who wrote the book, where is it located, is it located in the Old Testament, New Testament, so forth. And then what I would do to help me study the Bible is I would write down verses. I would make sure I would try to explain myself, okay, what is this verse saying? And that honestly helped me 
to really read my Bible, to really get into it. Some certain things that the Holy Spirit tells you during that time, you it's important for you to write it. So what I would do is I would write down the interpretation that was given to me through the Holy Spirit and I'll put the post-it in my Bible so that sometimes when I'm reading it, I'll remember, oh wow, this is what it's being said, this is what it's saying. Um, and that's what has helped me, honestly, to really read my Bible. I've gotten so excited too. And also too, God will inspire you and give you direction. It's like, but you gotta invest. You can't just expect yourself to just, or just open up a Bible and just read it. I can't do that. I need to have my journal. I need to have my highlighter. I need to have my notepad. I need to have my post-its. I need to have different color pens to, for me to write different colors in. I need all of that to make me feel like, okay, I'm really studying the Word of God. Next, something that I have been doing is something I didn't like was I didn't like the fact that people would ask me to pray for them and there are times where I would forget having a platform having YouTube and being on social media and me proclaiming that I am a Christian and God is the way people um, ask me and, and send me prayer requests and a lot of times there would be times where I would forget to pray for them so what I realized I started to, I had to do was I had to buy a prayer journal my prayer journal I was like I love my prayer journal and I did the same thing I said you know what let me invest in my prayers so what I did was I purchased a prayer journal and I really like this prayer journal because it has like personal, it separates it from personal, family, friends, and community prayer requests. And then it has like a side where you could probably like write a prayer or write whatever you want to write, you know, blank space. For me, what I do is I like to write down pray, talking to God and just thanking God for what he has done for me during that day. So it's like my little diary slash prayer request journal. And that has really helped me to be consistent. But it's hard, you know, we get distracted a lot with our phones, with social media, you know, with school, with work. We get so distracted and we invest in all of these things, but why can't we invest in our spiritual life that will stick with us during this is all said and done see this has helped me to grow more and more in christ um i have learned so much about god and i've learned so much about who i am in god and so you know knowing that he lives in me <laughs> that's the name of my channel knowing that he lives in me and knowing that god is with me wherever i am and so it's just it, it feels good when you when you learn and it's like honestly guys i suggest you guys you know take that step and don't just say oh that won't work for me try it you just you never know if you you never know if you don't try it so try it see how it is if it don't work for you definitely hit me up i'll send you suggestions on what i think could work for you i'll give you different ideas because so definitely guys i hope this video was helpful i hope you guys really would take my advice and just spend time with your spend time with your god we're living in a time where it's just things are going we have wasted so much time doing other stuff it's time for you to get up read your word get to, get to know god that's your god that that's he died on a cross just so you can have a personal relationship with him take up the opportunity and talk to your god and learn who you are of course i thank god for allowing you guys to watch the video because today was not promised but it was all given by god and i thank god for that and i hope you guys have a good morning a good evening good afternoon whenever time you're watching this video have a blessed 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 day may god bless you and i hope you will subscribe to my channel